Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 31st to September the 7th. I thank you again for tuning into my channel and your loyalty to watch all these weekly 12 videos every single week, leaving me wonderful positive uh, and kind comments behind all the subscribers coming in that lead to private readings. I am truly blessed and I thank you for that Sagittarius. On Monday, you have been given an air card. And as you know, the air cards have to do with the communications part of our life, uh, the justice, and often the legal system, and uh, those types of things in our lives right now. And like the night, things are coming in very, very quickly, like right now. Events are going to occur very fast, and they're coming at great speed. But you need to review all your options when these events come in, when these situations uh, approach you right now at this great speed, because if you do, uh, they will be resolved only because of creative solutions that you're going to have uh, coming into you. On Monday, my friend, another air card, and this one is the Ten of Air. Now, this is telling me that you have been dealing with some issues that have to do with communicating with other people and or the justice in your life, uh, or perhaps the legal system, and it's telling me that right now it's the end of that difficult situation for some of you, and you're going to be able to embrace change right now and expect that things are going to get better. It's also a card of recovering from those that perhaps have been dealing with addictions in their life. You are now going to be experiencing the recovery of that. On Wednesday, isn't this interesting, the Justice card. We were talking about that with these air cards that were coming in the beginning of your week. And I need to tell you, you actually have three air cards this week that have to do with that part of your life right now. The Justice card is telling me that you're trying to make a decision, some of you, in your life right now. But you need to be objective when you're making this decision. Because if you do, it will be made in your favor and you'll be doing what's right um, and taking responsibility for your own actions. You need to uh, reject or uh, resist any injustice coming into you um, and stand up for your own beliefs. Uh, part of this may be because they show me that you may, may be issuing or an accepting an apology to do with this situation, this justice situation. On Thursday, my friend, again, this is the third of these air cards that I was telling you that have to do with those parts of your life, communication, justice, and the legal system. This is telling me that right now, if you don't be careful, you're going to be making a choice in your life, and they refer to it as being an unwise choice, but you need to learn from this situation. And... Uh, Make sure that you review everyone's motives before you make this choice. Friday, a fire card. These have to do with ideas and represent our ideas uh, that, we, that we have in our life. And they're telling me that you need to defend your beliefs, okay? And any decisions that you're going to be making this week, stand your ground. And when you do this, you need to know that you need to choose your battles wisely. Page of fire again another fire card so interesting you had five three air and you have three fire so it has to do with the ideas and uh, the setting your dreams in motion and risk-taking and self-development and also about communication and legal and justice things in your life this page of fire is telling me that there is some news coming into you and they're referring to it as exciting news coming into you right now and it has to do with a new endeavor in your life that you are going to uh, embark on um, and you're going to use when you're doing this your own ingenuity and your own originality when this uh, event uh, this this event comes to you the end of the week, there is your third uh, on uh, Sunday. That was the Saturday that you just received. This is Sunday. This is the nine of fire. This is telling me that some of you have been a bit worried, a bit concerned, and they're saying that whatever the situation that you've been facing right now, you need to stop worrying about. Don't give up. Protect what you've created all by yourself. It's yours. And have courage and believe in yourself right now with dealing with those situations, uh, with the, the risk-taking and the self-development part of your life. At the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card to tie in this reading, and my guides led me to the Daily Angel Oracle cards again. And this one here is 
change in direction. So you've been dealing with uh, justice in your life, all the, or this part of your life, all this week. And they're telling me now that you are going to move in a new direction and that um, you're being protected now. And know that your guides are around you and uh, look forward to a new future, okay? This is all about changing your life and walking a different direction in your life, changing that direction on your path. I hope this reading brought you some benefit and some insight into your week, Sagittarius. And I thank you again for tuning in and your loyalty watching these videos every week that I put out. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. I leave you again with another quote. And I loved Maya Angelou. And this was one of my favorite quotes. And that quote I leave you with today is, The cage bird sinks because she has a song. Should you desire a private reading with me, my website is www.brendatero, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, Sagittarius.